Each of these breast simulators contain four lumps, one in each quadrant. Once you have located a lesion, decide on the appropriate incision. In this case we are using a peri-areola incision. Deepen the incision through the subcutaneous tissues working towards the lesion. Blood vessels should be ligated either in continuity or between clips. Remember to spread the scissors along the line of the blood vessels to avoid tearing them. The lesion is just visible. Each of the lesions in these models has two or three blood vessels attached to them. You must ligate these blood vessels before removing the lesion. Remember to take your knots down towards the lesion rather than tugging up on the blood vessel. It may be appropriate to grasp the lesion with forceps, such as Alice forceps or Littlewood's forceps. Remove the lesion by freeing it from its posterior attachments. Remember that, in reality, all lesions removed should be sent for histological analysis. In vivo, once hemostasis has been secured, the defect can now be closed. In this instance, the dead space is closed using interrupted 2 sutures. The skin incision should then be closed with a subcuticular suture, although we have not demonstrated this here.